Hello everybody. Uh, a while back, or well, quite a while back, uh, someone in the comments, and if memory serves, it was someone called Carney T. Um, if you're out there, uh, let me know in the comments if I got that right. Uh, my memory's not what it was. Um, anyway, said person asked if I had any box bonsai and um, would I be making a video on them? And I said yes, I did, and that I would. And uh, well, here it is, finally. Uh, pieces obviously broke off at some point. Um, better late than never, I always say. So this is one of them, and uh, this is a twin trunk specimen. A bit more central in the turntable to get a better view. Um, had this tree uh, quite a few years. I hazard a guess, probably five or six years. Um, and uh, I'm going to give it a trim up today because it's got quite shaggy. And uh, the trick with box like this is not making it look like a topiary. I mean, I could just you know, cut a sort of tree shape a bit like a, a child's drawing with a sort of green cloud shape on top of a brown stick shape and call it a tree. But um, you need to sort of look inside, really. I'm trying to build a structure here of the trunk and some branches um, so immediately I look at that and I think that's too low down I don't want that there um, but this piece I do want to make a branch so I'm just going to trim that back and then trim some of these other pieces back so it's not a question of just shearing over the top um, trying to see inside make some decisions about getting the forking so here I have a straight piece up and then it goes into three I'm going to take off one of those three and shorten the other two so it goes into two um, on this trunk I'm going to lose this piece that's coming out of the front of the trunk is obscuring it um, and also this piece so that I can begin to see uh, the trunk. I'm hoping that makes sense so you can see what I'm actually doing. Uh, I'm going to shorten this piece that pokes straight out towards me. So immediately now you begin to see that there is a structure of a tree rather than just a lollipop of foliage on top of a trunk. Um, let's have a quick look at the Nibari before we move any further up the tree. Um, My father-in-law always used to say it was two dogs humping. Um, but that was his sense of humour. Uh, he wasn't much interested in bonsai, but he always took the time to come out and say, what have you done with your trees this time? And take an interest in what I was doing with the trees rather than the trees themselves. It's hard to believe he's been gone three years now. So, but you move on. Um, gone but not forgotten as it were so yeah so that's a, an interesting nabari uh, apologies if that offends anyone but yeah two dogs humping my father-in-law always called it this is my front um, and that's the back um, I just because I prefer the trees leaning towards me a little bit rather than leading away. Okay, so I'm just going to go around cutting back um, individual branches back to 
a couple of nodes above a junction so that I'm constantly getting uh, branches divided into two which will then divide into four and so on. I don't want the tree to look like a lollipop that's been toperied but uh, I do want it to bush out. Uh, one thing I've found out recently, or in last year I think it was, listening to uh, just a general gardening program, is that uh, you should never cut a box hedge, or in this case a box tree, uh, when it's in direct sunlight. You should, you know, if your hedge is in a sunny spot, do it on a cloudy wet day rather than a sunny day because where the ends are cut, it exudes a kind of sap uh, which then reacts with the sunlight and burns the end of the branches where they've been cut and you get dieback. So a lot of brown ends, which obviously not desirable. I'm even cutting back in places where I have already got a bit of ramification. Um, but just because I want to bring it in a little bit tighter. As I say, it's always a balance. It is a tricky balance, I guess, between uh, making it look like a tree and uh, not making it look like a piece of topiary sculpture. Uh, here I've got you know, just branches that are crossing over one another. They're beginning to shade each other out, so they would begin to die back in the end anyway. So it's always a good, you know, it's good for the tree to get cut back occasionally, get some light into its centre. Thing you do need to watch out for is uh, box blight which I understand is a kind of fungal disease that can cause havoc with these trees hedges it will kill an entire hedge um, and so the first sign of any fungus I will be treating the tree with a fungus a fungicide and then of course there's a uh, there's some kind of box caterpillar. Um, there's some species of moth, which I don't know the name of, that will lay their eggs and begin to devastate a box quite quickly. So that's something else you do need to watch out for. Those are the kind of main pests and diseases, as far as I understand it. Okay, so... Um, we've got a couple of branches here which are kind of hanging down. Um, which I didn't like the look of, so they can go. And there we have it. Um, as some more of these branches underneath begin to thicken up and get more woody, then um, I will probably allow the tree to grow a bit taller, cut away the leaves so that you begin to get that branching structure more plainly visible. So that's uh, yeah, box number one, just to give you a quick size comparison so you can see the size of the tree. It's a full size drinks can next to it. And we'll put this tree to one side and bring in the second one. Um, this one is more in the sort of informal upright kind of style, um, but I am allowing this section. I was you know, going to go for the full on styled like a pine tree, but then I, after a while I've been looking at it and I just think it would be nicer if I made it into a more of a triangle and um, less of a formalised informal upright, if you see what I mean, but more of a 
for want of a better saying, an informal, informal tree. So I'm really not going to do an awful lot to this one this year. They're very slow growing. Um, very forgiving, tough as old boots, you can cut back into them, they will uh, bud back from old wood, take almost anything you can dish out to them, but very slow growing, that's the drawback. I'll just give you a quick 360 of this one. Um, and I'll make this into a new playlist so that you know, can follow these trees on in their progress over the next however many years I've got left doing this. Uh, so make sure you're subscribed and uh, I'm told I have to tell you to hit the notification bell so that you get notifications when I upload new videos and if you don't hit the bell you won't get those notifications. So thank you all for watching. Please, please, please do take care of yourselves and uh, in these trying times stay safe. Mm -hmm.